Next, we'll do a similar task of making four dots in the corners of our page, approximately half inch in from both sides, and then put your pencil on the point and stare at the point you're going to, and repeat for all four sides. Okay, we're going to use those four basic forms with value to create a composition. I want you to lightly pencil in a tabletop. And this angle goes back at an angle, oblique, and then we'll also do the front of that table. So these lines are parallel to one another. And then that tabletop drops off and we'll have a four quarter inch thick slab on top and then a post that starts about there and we see portions of that hanging down below. Next we're going to have four, excuse me, three forms and one of them is going to be a basic form and the other two are going to be complex forms. And so what I want you to do next is to draw a box form and consider that our horizon line is above the table and above the items on the table. So drawing that leading edge first, this box sits on top of that table, maybe it's a present, package delivery from Amazon. We can invent that later. Box form. And then the next, uh, next one is going to be a cylinder form followed by a sphere form followed by another cylinder. And that's going to be a, a wine bottle. And that cylinder is an ellipse at the base and I'm penciling out both both sides although we won't see one side and then we have a cylinder that comes up and here's our sphere try and keep that a little straighter our sphere and that top half of that sphere is the shoulders of the wine bottle and that will give way to another cylinder. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show the wine bottle open like that so that means that the our horizon line is further up and so I'm just going to erase that part. And try and keep things to a higher horizon line. So I've drawn in the, the last complex form, which is a cone that's stuck onto a cylinder or a sphere. And what I want you to do next is just uh, clarify some of it. So we'll erase the back edges of these objects and the parts that aren't salient to the final forms.
this is where I've gotten so far. Refine some of the edges and change things around to make it a little bit more uh, volumetric. And the next task is to add value to all these uh, using those value systems that we established earlier. And continue on adding value to these objects. Try and work the entire page with value. Think about working big shapes to small shapes, light to dark, and general to specific.